And I'm here today with... Brad Bennett. And can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today? I, I came back to high school, like I, I graduated last year, and uh, they wanted me to bring my tank back again. I built it all from scratch. It took me four years. I started when I was 13. I'm 18 now. I finished when I was 17. So the, the turret, it's all made out of uh, plywood, covered in body filler, sanded. The lower hull, its frame was steel. It's got a 12 horse Briggs and Stratton engine in the back. It's got zero turn drives from a, or sorry, hydrostatic drives from a zero turn lawnmower. And then there's an air compressor from a car, or AC compressor to power the gun. And a lot, lot of trial and error. I've gone through three drive trains. I finally, finally settled on hydrostatic. Why? Uh, that's that was the most reliable, and every other design just kept breaking on me. So. A lot of trial and error. Are you satisfied now? Is it done? It's pretty well done. I can still put headlights on it, tail lights, uh, front fenders. Bit bit of work left to do. Nothing that really has to be done. But. Any new projects on the horizon? No, I got a job now as a millwright apprentice, so that takes a lot of my time. Okay, well thank you for sharing this, it's really cool. If yep. someone wants to get in touch with you about this, say they want to make their own, how can they contact you? Well, if you go on YouTube and look up Brad Bennett Army Tank, I've got videos on there, start to finish. Oh, of the process that you the used? process, yeah. Excellent. Videos of driving. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much, sir, and uh, congratulations and good luck in your future. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye.